everyone, my name is Laurel Ann. I've been here for about a month now, but I'm still very much a noob. So, this is the booktube newbie tag. This is cute. The first question is, why did you start this channel? Of course, there is the typical reason that I like to read and that other people aren't reading the same books as me and I want to talk about them. I also really just wanted to learn some new skills like video editing and communicating my ideas more clearly and also potentially building an audience on a platform. I don't know about that one, but you know, we'll see. Also. I'm having an existential crisis and I needed to do something to hold off the crushing darkness of the void. Question number two is, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Well, uh, not my channel name, apparently. I've been wanting to start booktube for like a few years, but one thing that's always held me back is just not being able to come up with a clever channel name. I know it's not that big a deal, but for some reason it was a big deal to me. Maybe it was an excuse for not starting. I don't know, but I couldn't think of something. And then finally I landed on this, which I thought was like a fun reflection of my personality because it shows that I like want to be funny, but I'm just not that funny. But then just the other day, booktube recommended a video from insert literary pun here, which is pretty much the same thing. And she's much more established here on booktube. So now I'm just an accidental plagiarist and I don't know if I should change it to just like Laurel Ann Reads or something. I don't know, let me know. To try to answer the question a little more seriously, I have lived in three different countries, so I have a slightly different perspective on certain things than maybe like your typical white American woman. Next question is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? I'm excited to get better. So far, I've been finding this whole talking thing to be pretty difficult actually, and I just know that I'll improve, and I think that's pretty cool. And also, I'm excited to edit my videos, and I know that's like kind of weird because it's the most time-consuming part of making content on this platform, but I just think it's really fun to try and come up with little like visual jokes I can slide in and different techniques I can use. I've been learning a lot about editing since I started and I'm just really enjoying myself. And also, of course, I'm really excited to make friends. Please be my friend. The next question is, why do you love reading? Well, for me, it really is just the most immersive type of entertainment. I can't be looking at my phone. I'm in the story and I've always really enjoyed that. It's also just the best way to tell a complex story. If we've learned anything from the last season of Game of Thrones, it's that. Alright, next the tag wants to know what book or series got you into reading and when did you start reading? I've combined these questions because I'm a rogue. I thought a lot about this question and I've realized that it's not a book that got me into reading, it's a person. My mom read to me every single night all the way until I was like 12 and occasionally I think even when I was a bit older and that just really set me up to love reading. I know that my favorite books back then were things like Go Dog Go and Are You My Mother and the Dr. Seuss books. My parents used to like to tell this story of when I was like two years old they heard me on the baby monitor reading The Cat in the Hat and they thought I was some kind of prodigy but of course I just memorized the story because I made my mom read it to me so many times. But also I am a prodigy. I started reading on my own around kindergarten or first grade, so that's like five and six for those of you who don't have the same education system as we do in America. Back then I really liked these books called The Littles about little people, like like tiny people. And they weren't borrowers, they were like knockoff borrowers. And they were different because they had tails. I also have a distinct memory of a book series that I know I read a lot about like a human girl who was friends with fairies and I think it was published by Scholastic but no matter what I google I cannot figure out what it is. The only detail I really remember is that the girl had purple eyes. If anybody knows what that might be or also shares a memory of these books um, please let me know because it was driving me crazy when I was trying to figure it out. And of course, the first big book I read was Harry Potter. I remember I got it at the book fair, like the first one of the year in the first grade. And I brought it home and when I went to bed that night, my mom read to me the first chapter and then after she went to bed, I stayed up and secretly read it. And I remember I came into my first grade teacher the next day and I was like, 
Miss Kane, I read a whole chapter of Harry Potter last night. And she was just like, oh, okay, moving on. The next question is, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, I guess I would just ask them, like, how are they such effective people? Like, I am such a dysfunctional person. I can't stay on task. I can't complete anything. And most of my favorite booktubers are people who have, like, 10,000 side hustles. And I'm just like, how? What challenges about starting a booktube channel do you think will be the hardest to overcome? Kind of related to what I said in the last question, just consistency. Where do you read? Mostly I just read in bed before I go to sleep. If I'm really enjoying a book, then I'll sit on the couch and read or maybe go to a park and read. But yeah, mostly just here in my bed. And I also listen to audiobooks when I'm like walking places. And the last question is, what kind of books do you read? I guess you would call it literary fiction. My favorite books tend to be like slow, character-driven novels with beautiful writing. I also dabble in quite a few other genres, but I do tend to stick to fiction. There's also a special place in my heart for like 19th century British fiction, but I don't tend to read that much of it because it does take a lot of time. And I'm the kind of person who, if I've been reading the same book for like more than two weeks, I start to think that I hate it. So in order to sit down with a good classic, I really need to know that I'm going into a week where I just have a lot of free time, where I could just kind of bang it out. Okay, so that was it, the booktube newbie tag. Um, like I said, I'm learning. Maybe this is a little rough, but you know, we're all learning together. And please be my friend. Bye.